what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here it's going to be talking about halloween kills and the chances of the release date changing once again or not happening at all whatsoever as far as it pertains to not coming out in the fall so recently this is being sparked by the venom 2 or venom carnage whatever the movie's called venom 2 coming out now on october 15th the same day that halloween kills is coming out now those of course would be two big tentpole films i would argue coming out on the same exact day but it doesn't seem that they will be moving their release date as you see here this post that was done after the day after venom changed from jamie lee curtis would seem to suggest that they are going to stick to that october 15th release date they're not going to be moving or doing anything like that but if they were what what date should they move to now the thing that i've been seeing become like the most popular suggestion would be not to move it uh out but move it up like september 24th maybe where sure you're putting it out earlier but you know that's i, I still could see it you have nothing coming out really major that day you could have a very big box office opening on september 24th that be the same month the movie is premiering at the Venice Film Festival where Jamie Lee Curtis herself will be in the media all over plenty of headlines I'm sure after she gets her award for her contributions to the uh, filmmaking industry as an actress for the last who knows how long that she's been doing it she's been killing it ever since before I was born <laughs> and I'm pr pretty sure she'll have some type of emotional emotional speech or something that'll go along with receiving that award and then you'll have your first word of mouth coming out about that film at that festival and if it's overly positive and you put it out on september 24th i would think that that would be just even more ammunition to not to now have even an even bigger box office versus it coming out many 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 weeks after the venice film festival premiere even though october isn't that far away you know se september the venice film festival and the, re the release in the states happening at the same time i think that would be much more beneficial to the box office in my personal opinion but they seem like they're going to stick with october 15th and take on venom 2 i have no doubt in my mind that this will be something that a lot of us will be paying a close attention to if you're someone who cares about what's going on at the box office in the current state of going out and supporting the theatrical experience and watching movies in theaters if you're someone of course who also feels comfortable doing that uh that we will be monitoring that because i know there's going to be plenty of people maybe if you're watching me you are looking forward to both of these movies and now you probably will be more excited to have to pick one or the other on friday you can still look at both on friday depending on what showtime you go to and what theater i guess you go to but i feel like most people they'll only pick one and not watch two in one day some of us will watch two in one day uh, i know that i would be picking halloween kills i'd be picking halloween kills and if i had to go out and say who i would predict is going to win come october 15th weekend i am probably biased and if i end up being wrong not probably i am biased <laughs> if i end up being wrong then i'm just wrong i don't see venom 2 outperforming halloween kills there might be one thing that could happen as we get closer to that release date that could change everything on how i perceive it but that's pertaining to one specific thing that i'll i'll talk about it if it actually happens i'll just talk about it on my social media if this one thing that i'm thinking of happens re regarding the soundtrack then i'll talk about it on my social media platforms but other than that i don't think that venom 2 is going to outperform halloween kills at the box office if they decide to not stick to that october if they decide to stick to that october 15th release date i meant to say the other thing that could happen is october 15th for venom because this was just announced uh like i would say like a few hours after they were talking about there was speculation about venom being moved or being considered for a move and then it got confirmed like a few short hours later what they could do because it feels like that announcement was just like a spur of the moment thing they could either move venom again from october 15th to probably another earlier release date or just later after halloween kills just so they don't have to compete with halloween kills but you know you have a lot of movies coming out that are going to be considered big things that people are going to want to go out and see you have last night in soho you have that i think it's no time to live or no time to die one of the others i one of those titles i think i'm saying one is correct one is wrong i know that for a fact uh but halloween kills i don't think it would be something that would be 
losing to Venom as it pertains to who would be number one at the box office that weekend. I I would I know it's going to be something exciting to monitor, but I still think that the shape Michael Myers, the popularity of this slasher villain, this slasher icon, and taking into account what happened back in 2018 with that big splash that it made, I think that there's hope that that will continue, if not more so depending on what happens at the venice film festival with jamie lee curtis and the award she's getting and the first word of mouth about the film and the emotional attachment that she'll probably have to go along with receiving that award and that'll just be all over the headlines and then along with that not only do you have an emotional experience for a tenured actress who's well known in the industry now you're putting out more attention for people who probably didn't know about this she got honored for that award and then those people who are reading up on that they'll see that she also apparently has another halloween movie coming out if you're if you're someone who just doesn't stay in the in the know about what's going on in certain people's careers as i'm sure most of us are like that you don't stay up to date on everyone not everyone is a massive halloween fan they'll watch these movies but they're not waiting and lurking and researching and dissecting and speculate on every little thing like what some of us do so then when you see Jamie Lee Curtis all over the place, I'm sure those articles would also mention how her new upcoming film Halloween Kills also premiered at that same festival where she gave that emotional speech about her award that she got and is and it was received pretty positively if that's what happens. So then that would only boost how the film would do at the box office come October 15th, in my opinion. So I think there's a lot more that would put Halloween kills at an advantage over Venom unless one particular thing happens that again is just related to the soundtrack. Uh, but if that doesn't happen, I see Halloween kills easily securing the number one spot at the box office. I feel like there's just a lot of people who have waited for this movie. There's a lot more attention I feel like on this movie. I think Universal and the, the marketing that has been done for the film has been solid overall. And I think that this movie will do just fine if it has to contend with a movie such as Venom 2. Not that Venom 2 isn't worthy competition. I just don't think it'll be enough to beat Halloween Kills. I could be underestimating the superhero fan base out there, or supervillain fan base, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Do you think that Michael Myers will still return to Haddonfield this fall? If you haven't, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me see any movies, news, or reviews I'll be to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.